groupings or you know double taps and stuff like this. Uh, some people think it's you know you fire you, all you are is taking a one sight picture and firing two quick shots. That's not you know, that's not the case. You're actually taking uh, two sight pictures, but you're taking them real fast and base you're doing two sighted shots basically. It's not just two shots and one sight picture. You want to actually see your front sight every time. This is where a lot of front sight builds come in. What I mean by that is whenever you shoot. You tell, you tell yourself front sight, front sight, front sight. You always want to keep an eye on that front sight. Now here's a couple of drills to do that. All right, this first drill, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot two shots. I'm going to shoot one high shot and I'm going to shoot one low shot. Now the basic principle is this: is I want to shoot that low shot, and that's where I'm going to try to shoot that group as fast as I can shoot it. Now I don't want my shot to rise up above that low shot. I don't want them to get up into that other shot. The other shot is just my marker. Now this is the easy way to do this. technique to determine the speed of what you shoot the target and you know the staging of the trigger like we talked about before where you want to take up that slack and let the determine the target determine the speed that you shoot. The basic principle of this is you want to um, you want to ride into the target and extend through the target. Now say your target's here, you want to shoot it, basically you want to do like you do if you ever shot skeet shooting. They show you to follow through through your shot. That's the basic principle what you're gonna do with this. You're gonna your target's gonna be here and you want to break that shot right at that target. So you're, you're going to extend out this way, break that shot, and then extend it through. And you come back into it, break that shot, and extend it through, and break that shot. And that's basically, you want the target to determine the speed of what you shoot. Practice, 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 and I think most people agree with that. Practice, man. That's all you gotta do. 